Our moon moved into Leo, and you might feel like you want to pay extra attention to your hair, your clothes, and notice other people's too, and feel a little bit creative. What does this all mean? My name is Sarah, I'm a mom and astrologist. This is my only account, so if you see me in other places asking for readings, I don't do that. The only place to do them is with the link in my bio. So, we are in a Leo moon in Gemini season. Gemini, it's communication, it's starting new things, and Leo wants to have fun and have all the joy and creativity. So how can you blend those two things? I would love for you to tell me that in the comments. The other thing to know is there is a beautiful aspect between Venus and Chiron where there's some healing that can happen. Venus is about relationships and what you value, so there could be healing about how those things interact together. The key to be able to heal those is to have compassion for the things that hurt. I have found sometimes it's hard to have compassion and it's hard to forgive sometimes. And sometimes you can't go up to a person and say, hey, I'm sorry, because honestly, they may not even know that what they did affected you in any way, shape or form. So one of the things that I do to try to process that information is I write a letter and I speak it out loud to the universe and then I burn the letter so that I can release it back into the universe. I do send back whatever energy they have on me with love and light because I only want joy for that other person. But for me to sit there and think that they're going to understand how they hurt me, that doesn't always happen because I don't always know that they hurt or care. But keeping that inside of you doesn't help you and it doesn't help. It just doesn't help. So the key for all of this is find the joy. So when things get hard today, how can you laugh? How can you have fun? One of my favorite podcasts is Smartless with Justin Bateman, Sean Hayes, and Will Arnett. And now they're on Max doing the behind the scenes of their tour. My husband and I watched it last night and we laughed so freaking hard. What are you going to do over these next few days through Friday to bring joy and laughter into your house and into your life? You deserve it. 